caught in my glasses again, huh? Let me hide everything right now in my pockets and I don't want certain tools to be seen on camera because I'm very serious about look at this thing I have to wear in my head. I have a habit of chewing the beads. Let me get this light on and my poetry. My mom wrote a poem about eh, how many years ago? 2004. Hmm, that would be about over 12 years ago. I was in the hospital on A304. So I knew that my name would come up once or twice in this poem. I didn't want to read it. I was looking for scissors in the apartment because I'm about to grow a unibrow if I don't start tweezing let me say. And I just cut. I don't tweeze. And I got my other sides to do. Look, this is almost a unibrow. Revolting, right? So I'm just going to read you the poem. I'm going to show you the poem. She has two pages. I don't know how in seven minutes I'm going to cover this. Over, please. Mm. When she first met Billy again and was divorcing my dad, she fell in love like a pop. I didn't mean, when I tried to push them to fall in love, I meant I was not asking them to kiss her and get divorced in one day. I thought over time she'd leave my dad Frank. But I wasn't okay with it at this time. My asthma was acting up, and I was in the hospital for several days, so I guess I saw her free time when Billy was working, she wrote this. Billy's poem. Billy's poem, all right. 4.17 p.m. Boy, is she up time. What time is this? If a dream ever could come true, Billy, God make a man like you. Someone who's as good as can be. Now I can't even read your writing, and I'm blessed that you are with me. More poetry. Light lipstick, go new today. <sighs> Poetry can't do justice to you in any way. I'll love you forever. And a day, just a day? Ma, it's forever. She's just writing. I'll think of you all of the time, day and night. I was right. She does think about him day and night. She's obsessed with him. Then, well, then, 2004. And to me, you are really out of sight. For that, the word was day and night. <laughs> out of sight. That hey, rhymes good. Sounds like me. That's where I got my poetry from. I care so much and know you do too. You always keep me from being blue. Here's to you and the changes you've made inside like a gorgeous flowing tide. Just the rest of it's one long kanky letter. Dear Billy. Um, just a quick poem while I can't wait to see Elisa 7 through 8 30. Hope it's okay. Visiting hours. I love you. I never will love you anyone, but you think this way for the rest of my life. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me, too. I never want to lose this feeling either. I well, look at them now fighting. It's beautiful. She didn't cross her tear dot her eye here and precious. Her manuscript's weird. Wait, I want to marry you. They are married <laughs> and be your wife more than anything and carry your name. What she carried has hyphenated her name to his. With two last names. With you, life is so great. I could have been through good times and bad times. Are so much better. You give me the purpose and stability and confidence to live. I want me to be better as myself than you do. I want you want me to take classes and learn. You teach me photography and computers. We combine our ideas to perfection. Great one, Ma. <laughs> Your photography, my art, and writing. Your ideas are great. You are creative and amazing. We are great together. Together physically and spiritually. You are my heart and soul and let me get my glasses on. Oh shit shots. Oh man, I almost just ripped the arm off. Hold on. I don't even know where I was up to. Um we are great physically and spiritually. You are my heart and soul within me. I carry your heart and you in my heart always. You are part of my being. I love you forever and always. Thanks for being you. I'll never take you for granted. I am so lucky that I have you. Marilyn. Page two. No. I'm going to really have to read fast and no comments between. 4.17 p.m. Same date, same time. No. Revolting when I first wrote it. But I found it when I was looking for scissors. And uh, who knows where she hides it because I don't trust Harley. I'll try to cut someone's hair. Dear Billy. I've been here since 11 a.m. 
and it's afternoon. I'm pretty down because of all the stuff that went on this morning with the Lisa. I told you, oh, my name comes up, and she wrote it capitalized. It doesn't even look like her writing. I told you what went on and how bad it was. I'm so thankful that I have you in my life. You are my one ray of sunshine and the love of my life, literally. I really, in parentheses, adore you. My eyes adore you. Yeah, like the Frankie Valley song, right. And I'm not ashamed to say so. If you wanted me to give your name and number, get involved, even though I didn't give it out because I was married to Frank, but just the fact that you were willing to do it shows the kind of special person that you are. You are so wonderful and don't even realize it. There is no one in the world like you. You were so tired last night but stayed up to talk for hours about old shows to give my mind off things. And then you once again gave me one of the greatest nights and gifts of all time. Sex, duh, but she had to write that down. About me, my feelings, likes, dislikes, etc. Now I know on any three or oh, four they had sex. I thought they did it in Woodstock, or I mean West Point, where the military hotel is. It wasn't. A, it was a hotel by the military. It wasn't a military hotel. As I do yours, you are also very genuine, like diamond, which is my birdstone, her birdstone, mom's. Every gift that you give is a treasured one. Now I gotta start talking real fast. Every card you write is delightful. Every analyzation, appreciate. Every letter, meaningful. Solely sensitive. You mean sorely everything to me. Your kind and goodness, love, sincerity, sensitivity, and everything is good. Perfect grammar, Ma. <laughs> you are honest and integrity. She rolled into one. You, hey, I wrote something rolled into one. I got it from her. You are great, really great, and I wish for you what you wish for yourself and more. All good things, blessings, happiness comes true, prosperity, good health, etc. I love you for always. I like you for forever, for long as I'm living my life. It'll be. She got that from the book, My Baby Will Be, from Mom and Baby there. On my 8th birthday, she read it. Very, very much. I always will. Turn over the page. I guess she wrote this first. Just going to let the camera cut me off. I thought I was going to be gone. Oh, I'm going to save this photo. Mom should see what she wrote. Now I know where I get my poetry gift from. Freelance writer. She makes a living. I wrote about Barack Obama. Loss. You wrote about JFK. Won. We both wrote about presidents, but therefore, I don't look too good in the mirror today. I just got to wash my hair. Let me just tell you, nothing comes for free. Even if people say you always got to owe people, nothing comes for free. But love and family and respect and dignity comes for free. You just got to earn people's respect. And that's why I got to start working on my social skills to earn my mom's respect a little more. Because, God forbid, everyone says something happens to her. I hate that because I like to live in the moment. I know she's going to go one day. She's 69. Your body start decomposing. <laughs> Not decomposing. You start falling apart. But my aunt's 101 on November 13th. She turned, she's rocking her Los Angeles body. I'm just going to let the camera shut me down. I'm going to start uploading the video. So, 